Hello again. In this video, we are going to move on and look at how we can make links in Obsidian. And particularly, we're looking at Obsidian Mobile for iPhone or iPad. The same process will be very, very similar in other versions of Obsidian, including Obsidian for Android and the desktop versions. So the first thing we're going to look at is how we can use Obsidian to make a link to an existing note that has already been created. Now we could type this on our keyboard, but I'm going to use the touch menu. And if we click on that, that will show us all of our pages in reverse chronological order. So I am going to link to a page which has got a list of all of my summer plans, okay, that I've listed. And what it does, it creates our two rectangular brackets followed by the name of the note and ending in two rectangular brackets. I could have typed it up, but I'm, I'm using the touch menu there to get up that markdown syntax for doing this. If we want to preview what we've done, it will become a clickable link. I've got the preview mode enabled in my settings, so it will show the page. Or if I click on that, it will open up the page. And if I press Command Alt back, it will take me back to my page. So that is how we link to an existing Obsidian note. The next thing we're going to look at is how we can create a new page and how by creating a link to a new page. So the way we do that is we start creating a link, just like as if we were creating a link to an existing page, but then we type in the name of our new page. And as long as it doesn't exist, it will create like a stub or a, a name for that page. So I'm going to call this Obsidian Resources. That hasn't that doesn't exist yet. And if we preview, we notice that a new page name that's been created, but it hasn't yet have content or hasn't yet been created has been doled out. As soon as we click on that new name, it will actually create the page in our vault. OK, so I'm going to click on that and we've got our page, the titles there. I haven't actually added any details yet, but if I look in my file explorer, and if I go down, we can see I've got a an Obsidian note called Obsidian Resources. So that has been created. And if I press uh, Command Alt back, we're going to go back to I'm making links uh, notes there. So that is how we make a link to a brand new note. In effect, creating that note by using the link markdown. And the final thing we're going to do today is show you how you can make a link to an existing web page or YouTube video or a web resource. So the way we do that is if we click on the link down below, it creates it has two parts to it. We've got our link text and we've got the actual link. So I have a video from Brian Jenks, a very long comprehensive video, very helpful video, very detailed video that goes into quite a lot of depth and detail to quite an advanced level about how you can master Obsidian by following Brian Jenks' sort of philosophy and workflow about using Obsidian. So I'm going to link to that particular video. So I'm going to call it Brian Jenks 2021, settle cast and work flow. So that's the link text and the actual link that we're going to follow. That is the web address of the YouTube video. So you need to have grabbed that before. So this is standard markdown where you've got your link text at the beginning and in brackets, you've got the actual web address or video. And if we preview that, we've got a clickable link. So let's test that out. If I click on that, that will take me to that particular YouTube video. So we covered three things today. How to link to an existing note, how to create a new note by creating a link and how to link to external web resources 
particularly a web video. In the next video, I'm going to look at transclusion or embedding, which is basically another way of using our links in a very helpful way. So I hope you found that useful. If you like what you've seen, please comment, please like, please subscribe and click on the activation bell so you know about new updates as they come. And now it's the summer holidays. I am updating more regularly than I am than when I am working full time. So thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.